Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we share a poignant update from the world of entertainment. Frances Sternhaven, the esteemed actress renowned for her role as Esther Clavin in the iconic sitcom Cheers, has peacefully passed away on November 27, 2023, at the age of 93. Join us as we reflect on the life and career of this remarkable woman who graced both stage and screen with her talent. Frances Sternhagen, born on January 13, 1930, in Washington, D.C., emerged as a respected and versatile actress, leaving an indelible mark on multiple entertainment mediums. Today, we pay tribute to her by highlighting some of her notable achievements and moments of brilliance, as well as sharing the heartfelt reactions from those who worked alongside her and admired her. But before we delve into this, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell to stay updated on future content. If you find this video meaningful, please express your support with a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. Your engagement truly means a lot. Thank you. Frances Sternhagen's journey began on January 13, 1930 in Washington, D.C. as the eldest of four children to a tax court judge and a dressmaker, she navigated a challenging upbringing. Despite facing poverty, she emerged as a bright and ambitious student, exploring studies in mathematics, meteorology, and law at various universities. Her life took a turn during World War I when she served in the U.S. Army Air Corps. While initially a teacher, her true passion lay in acting, a realization that led her to her husband, actor and drama teacher Thomas Carlin. Frances Sternhagen's impact on Broadway was profound. Her debut in 1955 as Miss T. Muse in The Skin of Our Teeth marked the beginning of a remarkable journey. Two Tony Awards for Best Featured Actress in a Play for The Good Doctor, 1973, and The Harris, 1995, underscored her theatrical brilliance. Additional nominations and an Obie Award showcased her versatility as she seamlessly transitioned between comedic and dramatic roles, classical and contemporary characters. Beyond the stage, Frances Sternhagen's cinematic and television contributions were equally noteworthy. Her film debut in Up the Down Staircase, 1967, paved the way for roles in movies such as The Hospital, 1971, Starting Over, 1979, Misery, 1990, and Julie and Julia, 2009. On television, her debut in 1956 on The Great Bank Robbery initiated a prolific career with memorable appearances on The Twilight Zone, Law and Order, Ear, and The Closer. Notably, her recurring role as Esther Clavin on Cheers earned her two Emmy nominations, while her portrayal of Bunny McDougal on Sex and the City added to her list of beloved characters. Frances Sternhagen peacefully passed away on November 27, 2023, at the age of 93, in Santa Barbara, California. Surrounded by loved ones, her son Paul shared, she was a wonderful mother, grandmother, and great-grandmother. She was also a brilliant actress who loved her craft and her audience. We will miss her dearly, but we are proud of her legacy and her spirit. Messages of sadness and appreciation poured in from co-stars, friends, and fans. John Ratzenberger, who played her son Cliff on Cheers, fondly remembered her as a second mother. Sarah Jessica Parker, who portrayed her daughter-in-law Carrie on Sex and the City, hailed her as a force of nature. Renowned singer James Taylor, who performed at her memorial service, spoke of her as a treasure and a gift with a beautiful soul. As we bid farewell to Frances Sternhagen, we reflect on the rich legacy she leaves behind. An iconic and beloved actress, she not only entertained, but also taught us valuable lessons on acting, living, and cherishing our loved ones. Frances Sternhagen, a legend and a hero, will be dearly missed, but her influence will forever resonate in our hearts and minds. Thank you for joining us in commemorating the life and work of Frances Sternhagen. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more content. Until next time, may we carry forward.